this place is sometimes forced to be a gangster. What are my friend them? None of them are soft, you know. What I will grow rough, is it? I'll be a gangster grow still, is it? Yeah. So, automatically, that's why it's a gangster city. Dancehall music is all about a gangster image too at first, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the way it used to be, but it's not all about that. Chitty, chitty. Three West, a.k.a. the unruly block, a.k.a. Farood. Top dance hall, I'm here every king. Jungle is, Billy Bones, Billy Bones, eh. Every bad man and every dog, eh. Yeah. You look better than Beyonce. Y'all are free, you're me, baby, what do that dog, eh. Me not the oxygen for your lungs, eh. Make your phone come speak in a tongue, eh. Dance hall, can't start, forever, ah, uh, ever. Dance hall, can't start. Dance hall, can't start, forever, ah, uh, ever. Dance hall, can't start. We're driving to a dance hall party in Kingston yes. with uh, with the artist Ding Dong. Well, what can we expect from this party? Um, this party is where the ravers we let loose. Like if you want to know about authentic dance hall dancing, we that's what we are. We are the streets, you know. Every night, this is us. Every night, we're not sleep. See, this is the life of Jamaica blood. Look at this. Look at this, man. See that? Everybody's going to the party we're going at. It's like an energy, a train that pulls everybody together because we want to hear music until the sun come up. And this is a Sunday where you have work tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, it seems like it doesn't matter it doesn't if it's matter. a weekday or... It doesn't matter, this is Jamaica. At the end of this street where this dance hall party is, we've got cops hanging out, posted up. Police target dance hall because the gangster image of some of the most popular artists often extends beyond the music. This was the case with Buju Banton's 10-year drug trafficking sentence, Tommy Lee Sparta's lottery scamming charges, and Vibes Cartel's recent murder conviction. Jamaica's struggles with poverty and crime are a byproduct of the instability wrought by slavery in Britain's colonial rule. Abandoned by the Western powers that maintained the trade and left to fend for themselves with little help from the Jamaican government, poor communities look to successful musicians for leadership and financial assistance. This is usually when problems with the law begin. We came to Kingston to meet a new wave of dance hall and reggae artists to see how they're attempting to provide hope and guidance to the island's disenfranchised young people. The party we just came from, yes. there's like really good vibes, but there's a lot of people who talk about like dance hall and this negative light, how it's yes. perpetuating problems. Yes. But you just watched dance hall just now, right? Yeah. And did you see any negative vibe? No. But that's what they sell. Like everybody that sells stuff, they sell you the negative. Because guess what? Sometimes negative attract controversy, and controversy attracts sales. The party gets shut down by cops. Yeah, yeah. this looks like it probably gets shut down. A dance hall session feeds a lot of people in a community. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It sends like a lot of kids to school. It, it, it gives parents money to put in their pockets. It's how most Jamaicans live. It's how they eat. So we were supposed to go to a party over there. But that got shut down, so we're going to a party over here. The Naya Bingi is the most powerfulest one out of all the Germans. I understand because the art beat is a one to art alike. So everything come out of the one to. The drum beat in this Rastafari and Nyabingi ceremony is the basis of roots reggae and would ultimately evolve into dance hall. 
When the practice of toasting or rapping over dancehall rhythms made its way to America, it became hip hop. That cycle continued when American gangster rap in turn came to influence contemporary dancehall. People understand reggae to be the soul of Jamaica, but not so much dancehall. It's, it's thought to be this, this, this rude child. You know, dancehall is a slack child of reggae. Dr. Sonia Naya is a professor at the University of the West Indies. We spoke with her about the complex role dancehall plays in Jamaican culture. There's this thread in dance hall that people are sort of bemoaning this American influence. Now remember also that Jamaica produced the, the very start of what we call rap and hip hop. So cool, DJ Cool Herc, you know, Africa Mambata. All of that comes out of a Jamaican heritage that lands in the Bronx. The value of Jamaican music internationally we're talking about at least 5% of GDP. And we are not able to capitalize on this industry in any systematic way. So music represents this huge part of the Jamaican economy, but it's entirely under-supported. We have a context in Jamaica of a large youth population that is in many ways disenfranchised. There is no system for them to rise out of that. We're in Three West, which is a neighborhood in Portmore. We're waiting here for PopCon. Behind me, some of his friends from Unruly Gang, which is his group, are playing soccer, and apparently I'm going to be joining them for a game. PopCon grew up in the country, but this is the neighborhood where he started getting into dance hall. PopCon's debut album, Where We Come From, received international praise, attracting the attention of people like Drake, Pusha T, and Travis Scott. The record tells extremely personal stories of growing up as a young man in the ghettos, and those stories have resonated worldwide. On the album's title track, he pays tribute to friends he's lost due to violence. Among them, Scumpy and Bamatera. And I am the chosen The killer me up to have my Red shoes and clothes on So me take the road on we're, we're waiting for PopCon Do you see him in the neighborhood a lot? Yeah, he's my godfather He's your godfather? Yeah, uh, my father gave, me, gave him the name PopCon Your father gave him the name PopCon? What's your father's name? Scumpy Scumpy, yeah Oh, I know I know who your dad is Yeah, he loves he loved your father I know that uh, he sings about him And where we come from Wow, I didn't realize that. I was just playing soccer with Scumpy's daughter. That's amazing. Your dad was a creative guy, I guess. Yeah. He was also crazy. Not 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 like mentally. In, yeah. Like a funny crazy. Yeah, he's a funny guy. I was like, what's up up there? <laughs> Cause he was like so tall. He was so tall. Yeah, right. Up there. You know the um the Bamatero? Yeah. That's his picture right there on the board. My cousin's And this is another one of PopCon's best friends. Yeah. Your father and Bamatera. Are there any memorials like this for your dad around the neighborhood? No, I think the old one break, but I did have a shirt, but then one day I just got mad and just ripped it up. You got mad and ripped it up? Yeah, because I was be like, why, why do I need memories of him when I have it here in my head? So I don't need to see no pictures of him because I have it in my head right here, so... My grandfather lived there. He mm -hmm. mourns over him like 24-7. People say I look a lot like my dad. When he sees me, sometimes he starts crying, like, all some things like that. Are you ever worried being in this neighborhood? No. Papi say, like, anything I want, I should ask him for it, satisfy my needs, and no bug, no grab. You know what that means? You're protected, it means. No grab, no bug. Fisty. Poppy, where are we right now? Three West, Greater Portmore, the gangster city. Yeah. AKA the unruly block. I was yeah. talking to Sabrina, I don't know where she went, but. Yeah, Can you tell me who uh, Scumpy and Bama Terra are? And these are two guys you sing about. Well, well Scumpy gave me the name Popcorn, you know. Bama Terra has been my day one friend, you know. Me, me just decided to do a song when I tell my life story, you know. Them youth there was, was very close to me, that's why 
even when them pass on it, them, them memories stay the same way, you know? Enough of my friend them pass on still. Yo, who a play ball? Me, yeah. Anybody who want to win for by my team, you know? Do you think from when you were a kid till now, the lives of the ghetto youth has improved? Not for everybody. Life improved for enough people, but you still have enough people who suffer the same way. See me, I still have enough people who can't find food and can't find bus fare and anything. Hey, hey, hey. System on the wall is wrong. From in a system, automatically people are bullied and slaves, is it? Yeah, nothing to change. If I could have changed, I changed that long time. One time. I must say the system that do nothing for get to you. They're right in front of the government eye. Jamaica government don't support dance hall music and reggae music, is it? Why do you think it is that the Jamaican government doesn't support dance hall music? Most artists who are relevant don't have visa. A dance hall event to get lack of. You think music is a good way of staying away from a life of, you know, crime or Yeah man. The future is more youth are gonna turn to music and sports. Mm -hmm. That means they can help them family is it. Because that are them only way out. Because when they fall out of school with them only per subject. Alright, for the corner then they are born with. Because there's nothing to do. <laughs> Artists make people happy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Music is a thing we bring people together. And when you got a party, everybody know get up. Music no separate nobody. God give me all of them blessings, yeah. not for me alone. Popcon got a start in a group called Portmore Empire under the guidance of arguably the most popular artist in Jamaica today, Vibes Cartel. Hello. Papi. They are going to do a We Are the World collaboration. Is it me? Then this one me the near them. Send the grizzle beer them. Could I never be a bit in here them? Tell us this is a young dopey show steer them. Them plot, let's hear them. You know, remember, the line they are now. So you know what's the man I take this alone? How could you hear them? I try to think you know. Oh, it's a bull yo. You know what I mean? Get full of no. Cartel releases multiple songs a week, and they consistently top dancehall charts. But what's exceptional about his story is that he's doing all of this from prison, where he's been for the last four years. Behind me is Horizon Prison Facility, which is where the dancehall artist Vibes Cartel is currently serving a life sentence for murder. In 2014, Cartel was convicted for the killing of dancehall promoter Clive Lizard Williams. The smoking gun came in the form of a text message from Cartel's phone, claiming that the body was chopped up so thoroughly that it would never be found. And, as promised, it never was. During Vibes Cartel's trial, the longest in Jamaican history, the prosecution tried to highlight his gang ties and connect him to over a hundred other murders. But in his hometown and all over Jamaica, he's still revered. Vibes Cartel is incredibly well protected. He's not doing interviews because he has an appeal in the works. And his popularity in Jamaica tells me that there's a chance that his appeal might go through. We spoke with Winford Williams, the host of On Stage, Jamaica's most popular entertainment program, about his experience covering Cartel. What exactly was the Vibes Cartel saga? He had the smart, the, 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 the marketing savvy, the talent, that level of impact on youth. The guy was just, had everybody um, captivated. Long before his conviction, Cartel, born Adija Palmer, was making headlines. <laughs> Come on, what happened? 
He was the first to attack another artist on stage, and his feud with an MC called Movado came to be known as the Gully Gaza War. Movado's camp was Gully, so named for the storm drains that housed the town's poor residents, and cartel supporters hailed from Gaza, a name that likened the struggles of his neighborhood to the war-torn Middle East. The rivalry caused bloodshed on the streets of Kingston and only ended after the prime minister and the nation's most powerful crime boss, Christopher Judas Koch, intervened to negotiate a truce. Cartel's career fed off of every bit of tabloid fodder, and his nicknames, Addy the Teacher and World Boss, speak to his influence. He was a very intelligent guy. I liked his interview because he would answer everything. He didn't have any preconditions. He could take the questions, and he was punching back. It has to do with the system. But don't you think you have a role in that system? No, I don't. Listen to me. You Vans don't Cart have a role in no. you don't have a social responsibility? No, Vance Cartel has no social responsibility, but, but mm -hmm. to deliver good quality music because I'm an entertainer. And all of this is entertainment. In your career, have you seen dancehall artists get caught up in crime and it, it derail their careers? The way they're living, they need to look at that. Because too many of them, too often, are in trouble with the law. We're in Waterford, otherwise known as Gaza City, which is the former home of Vibes Cartel. All of these blue painted walls were once Vibes Cartel murals until the police painted over them after he was incarcerated. The police and mayor of Portmore say that painting over the murals was a necessary move to curb the world boss's influence. Youths on the corner just named that era Gaza. Police see at the time as a threat. So during that time, the police removed Vice Cartel mural from the wall. Gaza for life. So you grew up in Gaza? Yeah, man. For me, I look like a baby to come up, so that's how we born and grow, man. What do you think of the fact that the police have covered up the murals of Vibes Cartel? Well, don't you say I fight them, I fight with car. People all over come normally. I saw them normally come and say, yeah, this is Gaza, this member, you know? But for us to go with them think, uh, them are anything right now. I, I don't endorse those music. Those are lyrics that need to be cleaned up, and I think our artist is now working on those lyrics. Mm -hmm. I think that it's full time for our artists to realize that the gun is a very dangerous thing. So things have changed since Vibes got locked up. Well, we had the Vice got to make sure you them go to school. They're not shot at nothing. Vice got to do the loving. That's how we love him, so. Now nah, I give him up, no time. Once you become a, an artist of a certain repute, you really feel as though in order to survive, you have to have a certain set of people around you to protect you. The intense evidence produced around his case makes it clear that there was some blurring of the boundaries between the artist and the bad man everyday persona. When you move from an artist to occupy the space where people revere you at the highest level, the control that emerges makes you into what we call area leaders in Jamaica. A don. World boss. World boss. Another member of Cartel's Portmore Empire label, Tommy Lee Sparta, has dealt with accusations of being a Don as well. Taking his mentor's bad man image one step further, Sparta is known as the Antichrist of Dancehall. My thing is just a dark thing. You have a thing called Got It Dance Hall now. I create that genre of music, you know. I can feel like a man inside and keep her brave and strong, you know. I go through a lot of things, you know. I never perform a full show, you know, in Jamaica, you know. Why not? They always come and lock it off. It's just that this is in dance hall, you know. But other artists have worked with Cartel. What is it about you that, that, that they're targeting? No, man, every artist that run cartel, they target. Even Popcorn. Popcorn go, can't go to America, nowhere. Mm. You know? When you come from the ghetto and you sing and thing, no care what type of music you do, you know? If you're from a bad ear, it's like, it's like, it judge you, you know? But even since lately, the police shut down about six shows for me, you know? I get booked for some fest. 
them go off to take me off the show because the police say I can't perform. But is it something about your image? I wouldn't say image, you know. What reason did they give you? Because something happened in Montego Bay and they decide that everywhere where is my feeling, I just can't perform there, you know. Why do they connect you with what's going on in Montego Bay? <laughs> oh, the God, I look like I come right there. <laughs> you see, if I was doing anything wrong, they would come and they would lock me up, you know. Actually, Sparta was locked up. In 2014, he was arrested for lottery scamming, a scheme that involves calling elderly Americans and convincing them that they've won a prize. They just need to send money to claim it. Lottery scamming is so lucrative that gangs rob and murder each other for the list of U.S. phone numbers. Sparta is out on bail, but his association with the scammers has made it impossible for him to perform in or out of Jamaica. I did not idea, no. I am an artist. You see, artist, gang, badness, don't work together, you know. I'm feeling high, champion fly. Work hard every day till we reach to the goal. Jamaica is a predominantly Christian country, a lasting effect of Britain's colonial rule. Many dancehall artists get their start in the church, but that doesn't stop them from making music that's a little too raunchy to sing in the choir. Um, I'm a past student at the St. Catherine High School, and I used to lead the choir. I'm a nice little girl. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I was on the choir. I was singing. I was always in church. And then the moment I left school, I realized that people kind of love the hardcore thing. Call me off the wine pan the cocky like this. Cartel spin me like a satellite dish. Deal with your breasts like me crushing iris. Spice, I never love a pussy like this. Spice is one of Jamaica's most popular artists, but her collaboration with Vibes Cartel and her sexually explicit lyrics have made her the target of the conservative establishment, specifically the Broadcasting Commission of Jamaica, who banned their song Ramping Shop from Jamaican radio and television. We met up with Spice in Montego Bay, where she was getting ready to perform at Sumfest, Jamaica's biggest reggae and dance hall festival. She's about to do a rehearsal check. She is kind of known for doing these big performances with a lot of costumes, a lot of dancers. She's kind of like the Lady Gaga of Jamaica, and her music is a little raunchier. Are you about to do a sound check now? Or I'm going to do a little check on the stage, and um, it's my dancer's first time on the stage as well, so I want him to see it. Good luck. You're not coming up? Oh, I'll come up, sure. All right. <laughs> Ready? Two, three, and go! Oh. Go down and a wine and a bubble and Round a back, just a jump, it's a trouble and Bust a hug up and a couple and a cuddle and a wine up My body and a bubble, bubble, bubble and Me know I'm a good, good Of the body, just a wine and a boom, boom, boom Reggae and dance hall have hugely different public perceptions But they really are talking a lot about the same stuff Like life in the ghetto, life Definitely. for ghetto youth and the slums Definitely. Why do you think they're looked at so differently? So I'm going to give you an example If a reggae artist is going to do a song and youths and guns and whatever, they're going to say, um, you know, don't take up the guns, it's not good for you, and whatever, whatever. But if a dancehall artist is going to do it, he's going to say, no, let me take up my gun, come and we shoot you, I'll kill you. That looks painful. I know, right? People will respect reggae music more because like the corporate world would say, it's more easier. The pun and words that they use, it's more karma to the ears. Mm -hmm. And then the dance hall artists like the I do, and then when they must spit lyrics, they will just do it more raw, more in patwa, more aggressive. So it makes it sound aggressive. Artists make their way to the media tent, 
where I had my first ever Jamaican press junket experience. Yeah, me say I don't know Central Confidence representing the Vice and I reggae some first today. I keep it locked. Has anyone ever told you you kind of look like a young box cartel? What? Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> so just introduce yourself to J.A. Hello, what's up? This is Zach Goldbaum from Noisy. Um, Zach Goldbaum? <laughs> is that like a little stiff? You're not going to be drifting from the popcorn we love and dance all and going strictly roots, are you? But I'm no, 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 no. Okay. All right. I just live a lot of reggae music, but my always be at the forefront of the dance hall. But they're my back up. I Like dancehall street parties, Sumfest goes all night long, and the final performer doesn't take the stage until morning. Now there's one act to go, and it's Lady Saw. At 7 a.m., after over 12 hours of music, Lady Saw took the stage. The queen of dancehall, as she's known, was the first female artist to headline Sumfest in the concert's 22-year history. Been 25 years of our own dancehall, so I got me when I was coming up um, in dance, or uh, challenges was because I seen so much about sex openly and my, you know, my sexuality yeah. and how I enjoy it and uh, tell other ladies how to get it, put it down, you know. People were like, really? She's so X-rated, she's raw, she's, you know, whatever. So I used to get, like, people try to ban me, the yeah. mayor from Montego Bay. Me from Montego Bay, and I came back and I get crowned here and close the show here. So, too talented. What's the raunchy song that you did? The, uh, and you put ring pan and nuki, you know what nuki mean, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nuki mean P-U-S-S-Y. Yeah, the vagina was a big theme of yeah, the show Yeah, and the tonight. vagina is still a beautiful thing. Like, good vagina speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. I mm -hmm. agree. <laughs> um. Oh, my God, sorry. <laughs> Give me this. Give me that. Give me back me everything you got. Give me me reggae. Give me me blues. Give me me music that you confuse. No spiritual concept originated here. So who I praise, you shouldn't care. You say steal not, the thief my land. Sex not, the rape my mother. Keep what? We work seven days a week. Give me my herbs, make me make some tea. Give me back all my fruit tree. Give me the remedy that make blind see. Give me everything that you take from me. Respect is due. The time is now. No more turn cheek. This time we're not bow. Muta Baruka is a Rastafarian poet and radio personality who talked to us about how the decades-old struggle faced by Jamaican youth informs and influences the island's music. We've been down here talking to a lot of different artists, and a common theme has been the struggle for, for ghetto youth in Jamaica. Well, that's a kid's struggle, you know, because what they're saying was said before. There's nothing new that is taking place in the music. The people can only sing away them sorrows or get live and happy. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there's no place in the world that is a party like Jamaica. People ask Jamaica, how oh, Jamaican people so revolutionary? How oh, Peter Tash and Bob Marley and all these men come and so revolutionary? And Jamaican people are take what happening, our know, politicians are them. It, it's like a contradiction. How oh, can a country that give you Marcus Garvey and give you reggae music and Rastafari be so passive in the suffocation that is taking place? Vibes Cartel has become such an enormous figure here. Iconic, yeah. How does that happen? How does it become... I've heard him compared to Bob Marley in terms of his influence. Vibes Cartel is not a, a force to be reckoned with outside of Jamaica. Vibes Cartel is nowhere near Bob Marley. And Bob Marley couldn't do it without Rastafari. Because it's a Rastafari lyrics and consciousness that elevate Jamaica. The Rastafarian faith was born in Jamaica out of a desire to reclaim and reestablish an African identity. Recently, there's been a new movement of young artists who espouse Rastafari values and the message of Bob Marley's music. Some would say as a direct reaction to the violence 
directed by members of the dance hall community. Some of the scene's rising stars are Kaznambi, Chronix, and Jesse Royal, the last of whom we met at a ganja field outside of Kingston. How you know yeah, I got No, you got Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. This is our thing, you know? Natural. Light up the steam as the man. Yeah, tell him bring the chalice over here, sir. All right, you know? God bless. Sanctify. Remember the poor. Rastafari. Ganja is sacred in the Rastafarian faith, and now there are plans underway by the Jamaican government to legalize production of the plant, which could help transform this third world economy. Steam, you know? Yeah. So this is a steam chalice now. Careful, careful with it, see? Thank you. <coughs> Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you don't know the thing goes so. on. Can't lift out my spliff, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you smoke all day? All day? Yeah, yeah. All day, yeah, every day. Yeah, man, all day, every day. Herb necessary, man. Vital for your spiritual enlightenment, you know? Just yeah. like um, toothpaste good for your teeth. Herb good for your soul. <laughs> Herb is the toothpaste of the soul. Yeah, if you want to quote that, you quote it. <laughs> <laughs> Are they growing stuff here other than weed? Other than ganja? You know what, you can yet? No, never. But well, hold it, hold it. Can you just... Well, next side, next side. Mm -hmm. Can you just go right into it? Right into it? Your teeth strong, huh? I'm not very strong. Oh my God. Well, straight sugar. Mm -hmm. Same thing the British did say. That's why they come down here and grow so much. That's why, you know, without this, yeah. England wouldn't be able to maintain their tradition of tea drinking. Right. Mm -hmm. All of this. This was a big part of slavery. Sweet, you know, but one time it never sweet. parts about Jamaica, you know? Yeah. So we're surrounded by water. But then sometimes when you look out from the water, you can just imagine what it did look like when ships did have come in, you know? Yeah, man. The seas are the real road that shaped the world. Yeah, it shaped Jamaica, certainly. Yeah? Yeah. I don't get out in nature much. I can imagine, you know? And that's so sad. But what does the first world have but big buildings and rich people with, you know, big egos? This is paradise. This is the, this is the first world. Because this is nature in its greatest essence. To me, them still are developed. But we around us, so we still get that chance to be at one with nature and, and be balanced, you know what I mean? Life isn't pressure enough. The system is pressure. The system pressure you for maintain their standard of living. Because we don't want to do this no more, right? Nobody want to fish. Nobody don't want to farm. I want to fish and farm. Yeah, man. So get to it. <laughs> <laughs> No sidewalks here, only grass walk. So where are we going right now? Actually going through some communities in Jamaica, you know? These communities have a river in them backyard, you know? Is this somewhere you used to come as a kid? What? Every day. I wasn't allowed to smoke around my parents, so I used to have to hide. Steam up or smoke up and then go jump in the river. So it wash off all the smell, you know? <laughs> Another new Rastafarian artist is Kaznamdi. 
We met him at the base of what's called Reggae Mountain, which has become the home base of this new politically and socially conscious musical movement. Balance is key in life, you know? <laughs> Gotta be centered. Namaste. I'm afraid of heights. Eh? It's the wrong place to come if you're afraid of heights. Eh? We're at Gordon Town River with Kez Namdi. He's lighting up his chalice right now. Artists like yourself, Chronix, Jesse Royal, are, are starting to cross over and, and reach international audiences all of a sudden. What do you think it is in the state of the world that's allowing for that? I think right now, people are craving conscious music. I think a lot of us, Jesse Royal, as you stated before, Chronix, all of them are creating conscious music. Reggae music is oral history and talking about what's going on socially. What's going on socially hasn't changed. You know, it might be different, but it's the same struggle that people are fighting, so the music has to be the same content. I think it's just a cycle, and we're jumping at the right time. Yeah, are we going to jump off some waterfalls yeah, now? Yeah, we're going to jump off every rock. Let's do it. River time. River time, river time. What is messed up in this world today is power. People love power. Music is pure. It's the artist, the responsibility of the artist to keep that purity. That's what music is. What's going on in culture, you know what I mean? We're in Spanish Town, which used to be the capital of Jamaica when the Spanish colonized it. This is also where Chronix grew up. And right now, Chronix is arguably the biggest reggae act in the world. Rasta youth must inherit the earth. Can't sit down, that just send me for work. Bring the fire in a room, that just send me for purge. But I can't do it alone. Rasta recruiting. Soldiers coming from there and far I choose. Executing. So this is where you grew up? Yeah, in this house. Look like people live here. We lived there for like um, 14 years. I think it was one of the best life experiences for me growing up here. Because you live in a real community, you know? Mm -hmm. So in, in Jamaica, we are very, like, an esoteric culture because it's a vibes. Anyway, you go in our world and find people like us, you'll see the same things. And trust me, even something as simple as our man Jess mm -hmm. and the way gate design is a part of your human creative expression. Everything we will do is art, is, is, is music and is life, is vibration. That's why in Jamaica we have a word that we call vibes. If you take that away from us, we is nothing. Don't kill the vibes. Because if you kill the vibes, they kill us. Me and Kate are going to Alright, so come on. Rastafari! Rastafari! Is it Chronix now? Is that the one? I say nothing. I consider myself a person who is able to contribute to the betterment of my country. I, I think every man is, you know, able to make that contribution. Because with every gift and every blessing comes a responsibility. See? A man will write an article on how bad this generation is all the times. But how many articles do you see about the good? So we have become a very negative driven people. Vibes Carter himself has done a lot of good things in life, I, I must say. So it's just we almost we pull the negative out of each other every time. Like what do you have in you, good or I want the bad? And we just pull it and we pay people for the bad. Gangsterism, cannibalism, car vibes cartel over time turn a cannibal. When I listen to music, it's very cannibalistic. It became so pleasant to the human, like there's a thing within us that craves chopping up people and beheading people and cut out a man inside. It's just like there's something within us that loves that. When you see how you react to a song that says, go and kill everybody, <laughs> kill them all and done. <laughs> you know, and everybody get excited.
the same system that was in place during slavery, the same that is in place now, it's just that the, the look of the system has changed. We're, we rebel against the system to find a better way. Vibes Cartel now is a different situation. He's rebelling against the system, but the things that he's charged for and he do, it's part of the system that. Because that's how the system maintains itself. The system maintains itself through crime and violence. So you can't escape from the system and perpetuate crime and violence against your own people. All right, a lot of people say Vice Cartel sell his soul to the devil. I'd like to know how the selling of one's soul to the devil go. Like if you put out an ad in the green saying soul for sale, good condition, you know what I mean? And the devil contacts you. I want to know how that goes because that is news to me. I don't know how somebody can sell his soul to the devil. Okay. Does the devil have a bank account? What Vice Cartel has played into the system, and the system nick him up, as we would have said, in a Jamaica. It, it crashed him. Vibes Cartel's voice still rings out of cars, radios, and sound systems all across the island. But now, with him trapped behind bars, his life story has become a cautionary tale. If you play into the system, you'll be devoured by it. And from what we saw during our time here, this new generation of artists are beginning to recognize that and are using music to encourage others to break that cycle. The world that we have, have choice, you know. Yeah, because you know, so no few t- they say, oh, them are gangsters, and them just make up their minds, say, oh, they make care if them dead young, them just want to be a legend, is it? Music are the best thing ever happened in my life, because it changed my life, is it? Every day, I motivate more and more youths, you know. Yeah, because somebody inspire me and motivate me to give me that drive, they make me really want to go for it, is it? But body you, them have to make sure I said them keep the music going. So vibes can't tell keep music going. Same way. Straight up. You know, somehow we manage to set a, a certain example within the world space. Culture is a very potent thing. It has changed the lives of many people in bigger countries far. Any race of people you encounter, you go and find some of them have dreadlocks, some of them using herbs, some of them living holistic, and that is because of the impact that we as Jamaicans have had. It's the most scenic country in the world. Beautiful, man. The hills and the valleys and the music, the history, the people, them maintain a certain joy in them. The same people, them, when you see a jump up and a ray, 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 them not have no food tomorrow. But all of that get lost in a way at the moment. The people them have a certain passion to survive, no matter what. Them say, yeah, life, right as on all, make we live that life. You know? And that is what we pull on from. We can't play the victory of good over evil. And always say, I go on as on all. We know it's just a time. It's not going to last forever.